Well, thank you for watching this video. Uh, this video is like a, in, a, a part 10 and final uh, video of Invent QuickBooks Online Inventory. So in this video, I'm just going to go through what I've covered from part one through part nine. And then if you have any questions or leave comments, you can do it uh, on part 10 on this video. Okay. So the QuickBooks Online is, you know, basic inventory. It is a very simple, uh, basic inventory feature or uh, module. It's basically in and out type, you know. So as long as you keep uh, in in with the purchase correctly and out uh, your sales from correctly, the balance should be uh, accurate and it will show uh, uh, gross margin correctly and as well as the, it will show up on your balance sheet report. So I think I cover almost everything, but if I miss anything or your situation is a little bit different, just uh, uh, just ask questions, leave comment. Uh, you know, I'm going to be able to reply all the questions, but you know, give it a try. Okay, so the first one I tried the basically how to turn on the inventory in QuickBooks Online. That was part one, and uh, you know, which plan do you really need to uh, for the inventory feature? And then, uh, then I went through the uh, how to add inventory product information in QBO. So this is the important one. Once you set up a product information uh, the right way, then uh, uh, then you know it will go through uh, uh, you know all your other steps like creating invoices, uh, buying inventory items, you know all, all all the other stuff correctly. So this product information is very critical. And then uh, I discuss how to enter inventory purchase in QBO. So purchase could be uh, you know paying by a credit card or, you know, could be uh, on credit from accounts pay on uh, like accounts payable type uh, from your vendor supplier, you know, they give you terms. And so, and part four, I talked about the, uh, what to do in your, uh, in your bank fees, you know, when you, uh, uh, when you add, uh, when you match the inventory, you know, sometime, uh, it may not mass, you know, the reason being, so when you buy it through your, uh, your, your uh, vendor, you know, you just give them your credit card and, uh, you know, they will uh, charge you later on, you know, so the price could be different. So when you enter it, you know, uh, in, in your uh, in, in your uh, uh, bank feed, the, the amount could be different, you know, the shipping, shipping cost could be different or you know, the, even the price could be uh, different, you know, so you need to review it and uh, and then match it. So so the part four is kind of important uh, if you are uh, using the QuickBooks bank fees. So for inventory, you always have to uh, match it. Uh, you can add it. So add it means it will basically will mess up your inventory. It will just go to uh, your inventory cost. So you don't show up your, on your inventory asset account. Okay, and then I, I talked on parts five, I talked about the creating invoices for inventory item. Uh, creating invoices, it's very similar to creating invoices for services, but there are a couple of tips I went through. And then, uh, so how to handle uh, uh, inventory returns, you know, the, whenever you sell return, when you sell uh, inventory to your customers up here, you always will have to face with the return issues, you know, sometimes they don't like it, sometimes it's uh, defective, uh, you know, could be many things. And then, then um, uh, if it's a defective, you, you, you know, your vendor may say, oh, no, I can't take it back. Some some vendors say, oh, just send it back. So there are issues with your vendors too, or suppliers, you know. Okay, and then how to handle inventory quantity adjustments, you know. And so you have to review your inventory asset, to, uh, you know, the, uh, the inventory reports. And uh, whenever you deal with inventories, you know, eventually you will have some difference, you know. So it's possible you shipped the wrong item or uh, or could be different things. And you forgot to enter uh, invoices or or you paid by credit card, you just uh, charge it to your cost of goods sold account or just miscategorize to some other account. So you have to uh, review the quantity, you know, and make sure it's not negative and your invoices are up, your invoices are up to date and you are uh, creating invoices uh, uh, correctly, you know, and it's also up to date. 
And then on part eight, I talked about, uh, uh, you know, what inventory reports can you run in QuickBooks. They only have basic two reports, the summary and, uh, uh, and detail. It hasn't changed for the last 10 years. So it's still the same. Uh, and then you have a physical worksheet thing, you know, if you so the on this one, you basically need to, uh, uh, you know, run and take the physical inventory or the random uh, spot check to make sure the inventory on hand is accurate, you know. Okay, and part nine, I just went through how uh, all these inventory in and out uh, uh, functions in QuickBooks Online, uh, for the financial wise, you know, the financial report. So this is where the cash basis and accrual basis comes in, you know. Uh, so you want to check out part nine. It's kind of a, if you are a bookkeeper, probably you understand a little bit, but, for, but if you are a small business owners, owners it's it's basically a, a function of your cash flow, you know. So uh, if you bought it on on credit card, your cash is already out. If you uh, bought it on, uh, 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 on terms with your supplier, then cash is not out, but you have the goods. Uh, same thing on the other side is if you create Customer invoice, you have, you know, you, your your inventory is already gone, but you haven't received the money yet, you know. So that's your uh, accrual type, and but if but uh, uh, the customer paid it, then it's your uh, income on cash basis, and uh, it'll show up on your uh, income statement and as well as the your balance sheet. So part ten, I think I cover almost everything from part one to part nine. But if I have missed it or if you have some specific questions, you know, just uh, leave a comment. And uh, and if I have time, then I can, uh, uh, you know, and reply your uh, comment. Uh, so anyway, uh, thanks for watching this video. Uh, hope, you'll, hope you like it. And thank you again. Bye.